Ale Nikola. La Peñugo. La Peñugo, la Toso. On dit qui La Toso. Tere. Je suis un homme qui a été nommé homme qui a été nommé homme qui a été Uh, suffer from. And he continues to use his own abstention from hypocrisy uh, as a guide uh, for others. While he manages to preserve an attitude of humility and therefore denies any realization, he nevertheless defends uh, his uh, mode or, or style of, of uh, behavior as an example that we can follow. So he does not violate the, the humility, but nevertheless does assert the validity uh, of his way of practice. He says, I've investigated through a little hearing and thought. Uh, hearing refers to learning, hearing the teachings and studying them. Thought means analysis of their meaning. The path of causal characteristics, the pratimoksha and sutras, the greater and lesser vehicles of the perfections. So he has studied, he says, and contemplated the uh, Sutrayana, both the Pratimoksha and the Mahayana Sutras. Since I don't wear saffron or shave my head, I'm not an impressive hypocrite. <laughs> since, since I don't uh, wear the saffron robes of a monastic and sha or shave my head, and I'm therefore not pretending to be better than I am. So I'm not, I may not be impressive, but I'm not a hypocrite. Nevertheless, I have kept, carefully kept as best I could the discipline of the Mahayana Pratimoksha. Nevertheless, in spite of the fact that he doesn't wear saffron or shave his head, he has kept the Pratimoksha discipline according to the Bodhisattva vow. My amount of precious altruistic bodhicitta, compassionate generosity, is not great. It has proven difficult to be tranquil and subdued. Nevertheless, I have never abused others in anger. I have been as patient as I could. Kinder than even the Lord Buddha himself was my father guru, my master. I received the four seed-like empowerments of the ultimate resultant vehicle, secret mantra. I was never pretentiously submissive. In other words, he's saying here that keeping the samaya with your master having received the four empowerments from him is not a matter of pretense of uh, submission or kowtowing. And then about Samaya, he continues, although the subtlest rules are hard even to understand, let alone keep, I have protected, like my own life, as best I could, a simple sort of Samaya. As for the root, guidance through instruction, I have not let it remain merely something I heard. Although I have no signs of attainment to exhibit, of course, this should not be taken literally. He had plenty of signs to exhibit. But he's, he's, he's using the stance of humility to set himself up as someone we can emulate. Although I have no signs of attainment to exhibit, I have made a yidam out of the two stages essence, the generation and completion stages. Although it's hard to achieve the full, clear appearance of deities, I have, through devotion, gotten close. Although I've not revealed the channels and winds, I've not been overpowered by my kleshas, and have been able to rely on the path of means, messengers. Although I've not realized immaculate luminosity, I don't mistake the ground and path uh, as separate. I am comfortable with whatever arises naturally. Now, actually, if you read this very carefully, he sort of is contradicting himself. He'll say, well, I've not mastered the channels and winds, but I can do this, which means that you can, that you have. And so while I don't know what the clear light is, but I know that the ground and path are inseparable, that means he knows what the clear light is. Whatever merit and virtues I have, I've never desired fame or engaged in the dharma of vanity. 
I've concealed my practice as much as I could. Although I lack the realization needed to bless others and the qualities needed to be taken as a guru, I teach disciples devoted to me dharma that will help them according to their needs. I've seen a few of them grasp the start of the path. This is due to the kindness of the lineage of Siddhas.